So yeah, today uh, I will cover a new initiative regarding the PNT model search uh, components. Actually, you may have seen a uh, new solution uh, regarding PNT model search, which is called the PNT model search core component. And I have like 20 minutes to <laughs> talk about it this morning. So a quick word uh, about me, uh, Frank Cornu, I'm Microsoft 365 developer at Ubisoft uh, Montreal. Uh, Microsoft 365 development, uh, also the original author of the PNP model search solution. Let's say that the classic one, uh, open, source, open source contributor. I have also a blog, which is not so active, but I think it's still there. Um, but let's uh, jump into it uh, about the PNP modern search uh, core components. So basically, what are they? Um, a quick summary. So those components comes directly from uh, a project we had at, uh, at Ubisoft uh, regarding our Microsoft Search implementation. So it's it's an open source version of what we have at Ubisoft. So it had been, it had been tested, it deployed in production in, in our environment, and we made an open source version of, of that. Uh, so these are web components to build basically a search experience on any web application. And if you know already the Microsoft Graph Toolkit, well, it's basically the same because it's built over the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. Um, we have a dedicated GitHub repository uh, which is different from the PNP model search one. So it's called PNP model search core component. And we provide basically the same search results, filters, search box, verticals, and also uh, some, some other components. Uh, you have two ways to consume the, the those components. We provide the JavaScript bundle uh, that can be included in, in an HTML page. I will show that in a minute. Or we also provide an NPM package so we can you can integrate into your, your application. We have documentation as well, uh, general documentation to get started. Uh, so I put the URL there. And also a live program, just like the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. Um, so you can test all the components, parameter, and the behavior, and so on. So this is basically what, what are they. Uh, so now, what, what do I need to get started? Um, because it relies on the on the the graph, the Microsoft Graph. The first things to do would be to create uh, an Azure application uh, and configure the API API permissions uh, regarding the Microsoft Search uh, requirements. So, for instance, site with all people with all form directory, whatever. And like I said, you have two ways to consume those components. The first is uh, using the GS bundle. So basically include those the scripts uh, there which with the version number into your HTML page. Very simple. And the other ways uh, the other ways used to sorry. Uh, you need to use the NPN package. Uh, so we provide the PNP button search core on NPN so you can use it into your application. We also have a sandbox page for development and component testing. I will show that in a minute, but basically you have to clone the repo, install the dependencies, and then uh, serve the components. Now, uh, clear, uh, sorry, a quick word about the differences between the PNP model search the, and the core components. So these are not the same. This is not, the core components are not a replacement of what of actually of PNP modern so these are two different things. And the main difference is uh, the core components can be used basically anywhere, like in any web application. We do provide SharePoint web parts as well, but they are just basically a wrapper over those components. Uh, PNP modern is just for SharePoint Canvas. Uh, um, a big difference as well, as well is core components is only about Microsoft Search and Microsoft Graph. We don't have SharePoint Search anymore. So basically, you can't really actually you can do the same now with SharePoint Search and Microsoft Search. So Microsoft Search API is is mature enough uh, basically to to use it over the, the traditional SharePoint Search API. So this is a big difference as well. And the technical stack is not is completely different. So maybe Microsoft Search is specific web part with React. Core component is our little element with uh, Microsoft Graph Toolkits. And the templating system as well is not the same. Uh, we changed the handlebars thing with now JavaScript templating uh, that comes from Microsoft Graph Toolkit. And um, basically, if you are only in SharePoint, you only need to uh, build search experiences in SharePoint, you do not you don't need basically to upgrade or update. PNP Modern Search is fine and it won't be deprecated, so you can use it. And we do provide support 
uh, web parts as well for core components, and you can use them in the same page in the same tenant uh, along the PNP model search uh, web parts. Now, demo time, uh, NFT chat. Uh, I will just share the first uh, scenario, which is the sandbox page. So, just a quick word about the GitHub repository. You have the GitHub repository, repository there, PNP model search component. Uh, so, to use the solution locally, you have to clone the repository, go on the um, on the project, uh, install the dependencies like pnpm uh, install, and then serve the um, application. And it will serve the application locally, and then you will be able to test it. So in the project, we provide an indexed HTML page, uh, and you can use it basically to configure the components locally and see the behavior. Of course, you have to provide uh, an application first. You have to create an application first with your client ID and your tenant. Uh, and then you can update the, this page. Automatically, it will reload the, the, um, the page behind it. So normally, it started there. Yeah, and I, we also provide a debug configuration so you can test here. Okay, that's done. And as you can see, this is um, a test page, basically. So it gives you it gives you like a, an example of what you can do with the component. So we have a search box, uh, sorry, search box there, verticals, uh, filters, and the results. So it's really if you use the PNP model search in the patch, it's really the same. Uh, the behavior is quite the same. Um, so no really news new things there. And uh, using the sandbox page, you can just update and uh, test locally the components behavior. So that's for the, the first use case. Uh, just notice a couple of differences we have with the PNP model search is now we support the language as well. So we can change the language uh, on the fly. Uh, we have a couple of updates and improvements over the PNP model search, but basically it is the same. So that's for the, the first scenario locally testing your, your the components. Now, the second um, use case is when you want to integrate those components to a static HTML page, let's say. So I've created a page on uh, a notepad, basically, there. So very, very, uh, very simple, actually. So I, as you can see, I just include the scripts uh, there, the bundle, configure the, the provider. You may I notice also we, in the library, we prefix the Microsoft Graphite component with the PNP to avoid the PNP prefix to avoid conflicts. So do just don't forget that. Uh, but overall, this is the this is the same, and these are the same component as the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. So just use this page with an input like a search box and the results. And if I basically a simple use case, if I want to preview this page, uh, what I can do is just go on, let's say um, there on my. Azure environment. I have a storage account just to post that page. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, container there. And I hosted this page in a container there, for instance, just uh, to have clear. Yeah, there we go. Take that page, take the URL, and go there. As, as you can see, you have all the components there. You have the signing button, so it will me it will log me in. Yeah, it's quite slow. And here you go. So very, very, very simple. Just few HTML markup, and then you are able to see uh, this kind of page. You also have a debug mode if you want to uh, to test the. Uh, the, uh, the context and the, the inspect the data uh, returned by the by the API and by the components. Um, so first case uh, include the JS bundle. Now we also have SharePoint web part as well. If you want to embed those components into a SharePoint page, uh, so that's the last use case I will say. So I will just go to a SharePoint site there. And uh, so I already deployed the solution in my site collection app catalog, and I can just create a new page there. And you will see the new web parts. Blank page, yes. 
Okay. Test one, remove that. And now you should see new web part with new icon. So the same as PNP modern search, search box filters, results, and vertical. So the first one is the, the result, of course. So if you already use the PNP modern search in the past, it's pretty much the same. Uh, but it's only for Microsoft Search. There is no data source choice anymore. Um, so you can put pretty much anything there. Uh, the, the, the query or the oh, authentication issue, common SPFX. Yeah. Thanks. So it's the same query text, query template with, with uh, tokens and also some uh, provided uh, layout. So it's quite different uh actually it's quite different from the 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 pnp modern search so let's say i will search for documents only documents there yeah and i can switch to let's say tiles and you can also provide your own template so like i said this is no no more handle bars there this is like javascript templates uh, and it follows the same template uh, templating feature as the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. So if you know web components, these are called slots when you can just update basically part of the UI. So depending on the layout on the, on the component, you can update some part of the component. So for instance, this is the template for the items, but for other components, we have also other uh, slots provided. Uh, so we'll add a search box there. Um, also a filter, so we'll show you the complete configuration. So for the filter, we also have the connection system between web ports. So for instance, connect, so it's the two-way connection, just like before. Uh, same for the search web port there, search filter. And when you configure the filter now, you have basically all the options you had before. Uh, and we also support now localization of the, of the filter. So use the, uh, the fact that there, we also have an aggregation feature, uh, quite useful, quite useful. For instance, if you want to group some values into just one entry in the filter, uh, that's our aggregations. Uh, just finish the configuration there. Just... Uh, hey Frank, yep. did you? It looks like somebody else accidentally took over screen share here. Oh, okay, okay. Um... Wanna... I'm, I'm sure you're wrapping up and everything with the time, but I didn't think that was you. <laughs> there yeah, you go. Uh... I have like let it down post. Step. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay now. Yeah. Yep. All okay. Back. Okay. Perfect. So, like I said, you have multiple uh, options for filters now: um, templates, localization, actually uh, display name, and so on. Uh, aggregation as well, uh, and the connection is done like between web ports the same way as before, and you can have the same uh, basically behavior. Uh, behind the scene, these are the same components, uh, exactly the same, um, and you can connect all the components together, so the search box and so on, um, filters, uh, vertical, and so on, that's exactly the same. Um, last component, which is the vertical, exactly the same as before, let's say tab one, whatever, uh, that key, and you can configure now um, the visibility of the search uh, component um, with the vertical. So it's basically the same vertical. And you can say, OK, show this specific search result on this tab. So as you can see, this is basically the same behavior that the implementation, but behind the scenes, we use the components. And the options you basically see there are the same you can uh, use on, basically, these are the same there. We just translate the components. And we just we just provide a nice UI through the SPFX web part panel to configure that. But behind the scene, these are the web components uh, we are using. So I think this is I'm done for the basically for the get uh, get starting thing. Uh, if you need more information, you have uh, of course the repository there. Uh, you have the documentation uh, how to get started, and you have also a, like I said the playground for all the components if you want to test. Um, all the parameters and what what can do so this is not a live connection there so we are not using your data it's just a mock there but basically you can test uh for instance the behavior of all the parameters and so on so i think it's it's okay on my side uh back to you david and if you have any questions uh, let me know in the chat <laughs>